Oh god, this. What are I you? I knew them! What are those things? Oh god, get over here! Over here! Oh, this is not The Walking Dead. You crazy? <laughs> what? They won't die! Anything could be killed! Rabbit, now! <gasps> fire, fire, fire! to stick together go now no! I hope you're right about this garage I am oh that's intense oh god more intense now not more but I mean uh, English Who are you? Where are you taking me? Your Grace. Uh, You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? What? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. As if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. I don't like that guard tell with me, his... Tell do you consider yourself an sword honest, out. loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tolan's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. What? Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? 
It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I'd, I'd rather not say, Your Grace. You'd rather I didn't know about your issues with Lord Andros? You forget who I am. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. And if I refuse, Your Grace? Refuse? <laughs> and be branded a traitor like my brother? I, I understand, Your Grace. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Shit. Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. Uh, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Oh my god. That's your brother. Oh my god. What have I done? You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. Suppose you want another chance to best me. I want the honorable death you denied me in the pit. Perhaps I'll find it in Westeros. Glad to have you. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. You should. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Fantastic. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, sellswords. <laughs> My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. He can hear you through the door, you idiot. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Just a little. I brought you a gift. 
wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. <laughs> Not this time. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. <laughs> hmm. Some things are worth dying for. Like what? So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. Mm -hmm. You and Podrick. Podrick? I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. Well, thank you. I feel like crap now. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. Uh, it's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. And it might cost I told everything. you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Mm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I... I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. She'll never believe that. Then come up with something better. Like what? Tell her I intend to call Sansa. Uh, Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. God, I don't trust anyone. There's been no room for talking in this episode. Why do I feel he's not alone? Was she leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? <laughs> Neither did you. <laughs> we haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. <laughs> I, I'm so happy. I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. 
He loves you. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh my god, they're so cute. Roderick? Oh. Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I... I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. <laughs> Come in. I really am sorry. It's, all it's just, right. this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. Me too. You can grab your clothes if you'd like. Or not. All right then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What? What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. Him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. Who is it? I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Talia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I can't. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Oh my god, my stomach's turning. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't breathe. Oh god. Go get the guards. Lord, <laughs> you scared me after. Are you kidding? No. So you know. I thought it was you. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did. I did for your own good. <laughs> no. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. We trusted you, Duncan. My father took you off a pig farm to make you his castellan. I've cared for his family like it's my own. Then why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you I've got been home. I've this house. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter We're how either of you now. feel. 
Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Stop it. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Wasn't Duncan! Wasn't my plan. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. You're destroyed. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No. They've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan! Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord! Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Oh, and I know who. Is this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. Save He's Asher. in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. You better not Please, be Roderick. I'll spare your life. Now talk. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away! <clears throat> Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake! What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Oh, yes. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Don't expect me to drink alone, do you?